Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I wanted to make this to shed light on what I've been up to and some realizations I've come to over the past few weeks. Lately I've been into the world of prototyping and kit bashing, or more broadly speaking, sculpting figures. I kind of took a break from my comic projects to explore this side of my creative journey. It started with a bus for those who were who have been watching. I made this tiefling bust. It was quite successful in my eyes. It has this haunting stare about it, like its eyes watching you wherever you go. And from there it spawned many unique one-off sculpts. Now, the first thing is, sculptures are cool. They can't be made anywhere else, however. They're fun, unique objects to film, and I think the maker can bring a lot of meaning into the process, in a way. But I seem to have a problem. In my opinion, it's, e it's better to make things simple at first, seeing the value and simplicity, and even cute aesthetics. Not that they have to be. However, I have a tendency to be elaborate when left unchecked. It's in part a reaction to a channel by a Russian YouTuber who makes amazing work. You should check them out. It's called Sculpture Workshop Ick. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Then later on, looked into doing Garage Kitsch, which is mostly just anime figurines. I thought it would be cool to make something like that. Not like an action figure, but like just a standing base sculpture. There's this excellent book I hunted down. You could even buy it on Etsy, but I bought mine off Amazon, I think. Drop me a comment if you want me to go over that and in more de detail in a future video. It kind of got me looking at clay artists on YouTube and how they were making money from selling their art online, basically. Of course, there's some social reasons and brand development happening to take into consideration, i.e. it's not always about the end product being the result of their success. Now that's a conversation for another day. The point I want to make here is, in the beginning, it was going well. But lately, the process has been taking longer, and issues come up like, like with filming, for example. And as a result, there's been things put on the back burner that are not finished, in my eyes. And I really want to finish stuff, to have a personal portfolio of mine to share. I almost care about it more than doing good. It's that heavy on my mind, and it's not fitting into the bigger picture of where I want to go with this channel. I mentioned briefly, but filming equipment is already kind of a drain on me, but it's all about working around things. I got newer and crazier gadgets to try out, like this. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. The materials I used expanded, and I think to a fault. I really dipped my toe into a lot of different materials, like epox two-part epoxy clays, Sculpey, the list goes on, but maybe I was working too fast and in an imprecise manner. Costs like this can add up over time, especially with resin and silicone. Things like that going wrong are heartbreaking in my eyes. My spending on those supplies almost became hyper consumerist at one point, and I felt results weren't coming in from the time and money invested. Many mistakes died to feel costly to me. I don't post a lot, and I want to say I love YouTube and I think it's my home. If there was a social media giant I preferred. I also have an Instagram. I would love to have a set schedule set in place. That's not something I've done routinely and I think that will be one of the changes I make going forward. With comics, it's interesting. I find more, I've made more substantial growth with every story I've written, drawn and produced like just printed and like or posted somewhere. Uh, 2019 was when I completed my first web comic, technically 2020. And then I went on to make more short stories for the mythology I was a part of. But with all this, I'm not saying I hate sculpture. It's taught me important lessons, how work can fit in, like how your work can fit into an environment and being mindful of proportion and the weight of objects and gravity because they fall over 
a lot. I think the more important thing, lastly, is I did sculptures because for meta reasons I wanted to learn to make more videos and develop my skills in storytelling. Which is odd to say. It's not, it's not like un, unrelated to my previous work on comics. But yeah. So here's some changes I'd like to put into effect. Posting on Instagram going forward. I want to set my schedule initially to Monday to Thursday. That's Australian Eastern Standard Time. So that might be uh, two days behind depending on where you are in the world. Because the truth is, they may not, even though I don't post a lot, I produce work on my off, off time when I'm not at my full time job. And I've worked on three different projects at the same time. Also, I'm not looking to buy more sculpting supplies for the rest of the year. I'll use what I have for the time being, which is interesting. Certainly it's not going away, but I'd like to focus my energies more on comics and more self-contained one-shots. And that's another interesting thing because that ties into the next plan, and that is to do a month-long drawing challenge. Not the one you're thinking of, by the way. This one I'd like to call Ducktober. More on that next month, but thank you for watching. If you'd like to hear more about that, you should subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers, and have a good day.